Alright guys, so I'm back, um, and I'm going to work on some side quests. Talking to Sarah here, um, about a follow-up on the quest from the Warboard. Who's putting up the reward for this? I don't know. Sometimes it's past the hat. Sometimes it's I lifted this from Master's vault. Doesn't matter, does it? Job done. Time to get what we're owed. So let's go do it. You are. Always, yeah. My favorite part this. Let's go see what friends can get. Okay. So we're taking you. We're taking you. And we are taking you. Confirm. Wait, this is weird. What? I was expecting a village or something. The people that leave me stuff don't trek out to places like this. Give me a city and I'll give you a tour, but surprise, surprise, I don't know stupid woods or ruins. What's that? Don't hurt me. Harmond made me do it. Um, what are you doing here? What's your name and why are you here? He made me come. Said I had to lead him to her because I said things. It was just bar talk. This was supposed to be a simple drop. What's going on? You're her. You're the one he's waiting for. It's her. She's here. Red Jenny. Oh, dear. Idiot. I have reached level 13. And I'm going to kill these people. Kill. Stabby, stabby, stabby. Dead yet? There you go. Hold on. I was not aware the Inquisitor was personally involved. This is a tragic misunderstanding. Let's all sheath our swords, you walk out, and we'll conduct this like business. Don't believe this piss back. He started it. Who are you? There. That wasn't so hard, was it? We identified the confusion, and we worked past it. I'm Lord Pell Harmon. I do hope, Inquisitor, that you continue to respond to reason. After all, your choice of company is hardly virtuous. Freaking user you are. Another noble prick who punches down. We're the same, you and I. Well, that is overstating it. You are nothing like me. But we both need. So, you're gonna get stabbed in the face, buddy, just so you know. You want to talk now, but Sarah is my ally. You attacked her friends. Come now. You know how much her meddling cost me. Because apparently you were complicit. Honestly, previous to this very moment, I thought you'd also been tricked by these red jennies. You're of noble birth, and as Inquisitor, you are more than a peer. I attacked them on behalf of us both. Ask Biscuit. <laughs> Quiet. Inquisitor, Herald, I don't want to be your enemy. I'm barely invested in being hers. If you are willing to recognize an opportunity, we could be exceptional partners. Hmm. I am really <laughs> disinterested in this. The servants you killed, they did nothing except talk about what was going on. You killed my contacts, my friends. That is entirely true. Well, that should be that then. You're the one who empowered them, made their complaints a threat. Perhaps you should have warned them about talking to you. Stop talking to him. Really, just stop it. Alright, just kill him then. Uh, now what was the point of that? <laughs> Mother, puss bucket, friggin' bastard, shite bag, piss face. 
You think you're lop -eared, son of an arse, not rock Sarah. Up piece of... Sarah. Uh, what? <laughs> I think he's dead. <laughs> I think you're done. At this point, you're making wine. Ugh, that makes it worse. Friends, Inquisitor. Better than his lot any day. Hey, you. Know what? Thanks. Felt good to stop the smile off that pisshead's face. It doesn't go bad like that often, yeah? But when it does, they deserve it. Risky. But keep it within the Inquisition and I'll support you. Even though this puckered around us? Even so. Well, good then. Right, what do you mean? Because I am really not used to that. Acceptance thing you're doing right there. I don't want this to get in the way of you staying. I like having you here. I could see that, Lady Trevelyan. I could. You're on my good side. We'll see if it lasts. Probably not, because everything I do makes you angry. But that guy was very clearly a turd through and through, so, you know. I had no problem kicking his freaking teeth in. So I think there was also something for Dorian, Monsieur Dorian, I think. So we have a couple things for Monsieur Dorian. Um, so, ah, this thing about his family. I feel like if it was me, I would never just take my friend somewhere and not and not tell him. You know, I would tell him what was going on and and let him make the choice about whether or not he wanted to go uh, and meet his family and whatnot because I it would just feel like such a betrayal to kind of force that upon him unless I really knew the entire family or something and I knew that they had his best interest at heart or something but I don't know anything about these people so um hopefully we're going to be able to tell them about it how would you have alexius researching magic for you research is always what made him happy perhaps i'll even go talk to him eventually one word of advice if he suggests altering time as a way to solve all your problems give it a pass <laughs> okay so father sent a letter dorian there's a letter you need to see. A letter? Is it a naughty letter? A humorous proposal from some Antivan dowager? <laughs> Not quite. It's from your father. From my father? You see. And what does Magister Hallward want, pray tell? A meeting. Show me this letter. I know my son. What my father knows of me would barely fill a thimble. This is so typical. I'm willing to bet this retainer is a henchman hired to knock me on the head and drag me back to Tavinta. Would he really do that to you? Well, I wouldn't let him do that. That would be hard to do while I stood there. He expects me to travel with Mother Giselle, although Maker knows why he'd think I would. Let's go. Let's meet this so-called family retainer. If it's a trap, we escape and kill everyone. You're good at that. If it's not, I send the man back to my father with a message that he can stick his alarm in his wit's end. <laughs> cool. Just a moment. There 
seems to be bad blood between you and your family. <laughs> Interesting turn of phrase. But you're correct. They don't care for my choices, nor I for theirs. Because you wouldn't get married? Because you left? That too. Let's go meet this retainer then. I wonder how much my father paid this man to wait around just in case I showed. <sighs> we'll find out soon enough. Okay, so now we're going to go meet the, the family, but it's not going to be behind his back. Which makes me feel much better about the situation. And if it turns out that he's correct, and this is somebody who's, you know, come to take him back to the family against his will, I won't feel like such a butthole for tricking him into going and meeting them. So I think that some more of my missions got finished while we were walking around and talking to people and doing the stuff and things. To Red Cliff! Right. Let's Perhaps go. Perhaps we should search about a bit. Good day. Search about a bit. We don't need to search around right now. What we need to do is go to the tavern. Family retainer was just what? A smoke screen? Then you were told. I apologize for the deception, Inquisitor. I never intended for you to be involved. Of course not. Magister Parvis couldn't come to Skyhold and be seen with the dread Inquisitor. What would people think? What is this exactly, Father? Ambush? Kidnapping? A warm family reunion? <sighs> this is how it has always been. Considering you lied to get him here, Dorian has every right to be furious. You don't know the half of it, but maybe you should. Dorian, there's no need to. I prefer the company of men. My father disapproves. That's a big concern in Tevinter, then. Only if you're trying to live up to an impossible standard. Every Tavinta family is intermarrying to distill the perfect mage, perfect body, perfect mind, the perfect leader. It means every perceived flaw, every aberration is deviant and shameful. It must be hidden. Should I really ask what this means? I'll need you to explain that. Did I stutter? Men and the company thereof as insects. Surely you <laughs> That was worth it. I had a suspicion. No women at all? Um. Well, now, what is the appropriate answer to this? <laughs> Like, I guess I had no idea, or either one of these, but I don't know whether, which one of these is the kind one, 
because we don't want to make it sound like, oh yeah, I thought so. Or, I had no idea that you were diseased. I mean, <laughs> what is the rest of this sentence? Um, I guess this one. I just didn't expect that. Well, it's not as if I introduced myself that way. Hello, my name is Dorian. I like men. <laughs> Maybe I should start. Some days it seems that's all anyone cares about. This display is uncalled for. No, it is called for. You called for it by luring me here. This is not what I wanted. I'm never what you wanted, Father. Or had you forgotten? Then walk away, Dorian. You already did that once, didn't you? I agree, let's go. There's nothing more to be gained here. Dorian, please. If you'll only listen to me. Why? So you can spout more convenient lies? He taught me to hate blood magic. The resort of the weak mind. Those are his words. But what was the first thing you did when your precious heir refused to play pretend for the rest of his life? You tried to change me. I only wanted what was best for you. You wanted the best for you. Your fucking legacy. Anything but that. So, shit, is he really trying to reconcile things? Because maybe we should hear him out, but mm, I kind of just want to like slap him in the face and leave. Um, Don't leave it like this, Dorian. You'll never forgive yourself. Tell me why you came. If I knew, I would drive you to the Inquisition. You didn't. I joined the Inquisition because it's the right thing to do. Once, I had a father who would have known that. Once, I had a son who trusted me. A trust I betrayed. I only wanted to talk to him, to hear his voice again. To ask him to forgive me. He says we're alike. Too much pride. Once I would have been overjoyed to hear him say that. Now I'm not certain. I don't know if I can forgive him. Are you all right? No, not really. Thank you for bringing me out there. It wasn't what I expected, but it's something. Maker knows what you must think of me now, after that whole display. I think you're very brave. Brave. It's not easy to abandon tradition and walk your own path. At any rate, time to drink myself into a stupor. It's been that sort of day. Join me sometime, if you've a mind. I don't know what you think you're doing. I'm being cut out of my head. Don't play the fool with me, young man. If I wanted to play the fool, I could be rather more convincing, I assure you. Your glib tongue does you no credit. You'd be surprised at the credit my tongue gets me for reference. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> what, what is going on here? Oh, I... What's going on here? It seems the revered mother is concerned about my undue influence over you. It is just concern. Your worship, you must know how this looks. You might need to spell it out, my dear. This man is of the winter. His presence at your side. The rumors alone. 
what's wrong with him being from Savinta, specifically? I'm fully aware that not everyone from the Imperium is the same. How kind of you to notice. Yet still, you bow to the opinion of the masses. The opinion of the masses is based on centuries of evidence. What would you have me tell them? The truth? The truth is I do not know you, and neither do they. Thus, these rumors will continue. Well, no need to worry. There's no cause for concern, your reverence. With all due effect, you underestimate the effect this man has on the people's good opinion. Do the people know how he's helped the Inquisition? I... see. I meant no disrespect, Inquisitor. Only to ask after this man's intentions. If you feel he is without ulterior motive, then I humbly beg forgiveness for you both. Well, that's something. <sighs> You're all right, buddy. She didn't get to you, did she? No. It takes more to get to me than thinly veiled accusations. You don't think she'll do anything? Do what? Yours is the good opinion I care about, not hers. I should ask, do the rumors bother you? I wish they wouldn't disparage you. They don't know you. They know you even less than they know me. Perhaps it's odd to say, but I think of you as a friend, Inquisitor. I have precious few friends. I didn't think to find one here. I... Don't speak. I detest confessions. And I'd like to get this over with. Allow me to say I'll stand beside you. Against Corypheus, my countryman, or spurious rumor. So long as you'll have me. Absolutely, my friend. <laughs> well, that was a very delayed. <laughs> okay. Well, then. Very good. stuff for my for my fellow people that doesn't involve going somewhere no okay so we've got some more stuff to do in Crestwood so uh, so let's go there and and see it done And what else did Lady Forsythia say? That she'd rather drown herself than help the Inquisition. Anything else? She said she'd have us flogged alive if we allied with her brother. That does sound like her. Cheer up, Josie. We at least have her attention. You always do find the brighter side of things. We are in the midst of cementing an alliance with Lady Forsythia of Nevara, your worship. It's become a somewhat delicate task. So, can I help? Can I do anything to help negotiations? Uh, thank you, but I believe I have matters in hand. I dissuaded her from sending soldiers when she learned we'd struck an accord with a brother she's feuding with. Lady Forsythia simply employs a colorful manner of speech. Um, are you okay? Dealing with so many demanding, strong-willed people can't be easy. It's no less intense than my days at court, Inquisitor, I assure you. But I confess I do miss my staff from the Embassy in Antigua. It was always useful to discuss the day's visitors with them. Well? I have time if you'd like to review things with me. I wouldn't wish to impose. If it were imposing, I wouldn't have offered. Well, I admit, there are a few potential alliances it would be good to discuss. 
Right on the parlor floor. In front of everyone at the soiree. Who does such a thing in front of their guests? <laughs> the Duke of Kellington, apparently. And then there's Cole's Lurkin. It frightens our guests half to death. Lord Jinnar still won't respond to our letters. And Sarah. Can she not find a single overshirt with that mustard stains on it? <laughs> then there's Dorian. The man refuses to take anything seriously unless it suits his whim. Not to mention... Oh, oh, goodness. Have we been here an hour already? It went by so quickly I didn't even notice. You're far too polite. I didn't intend to go on for so long. You must think me quite the gossip. <laughs> well, just a bit long-winded. <laughs> uh, I think you needed to talk. You've been working continually since I met you, Josephine. And that can't stop. I must be going. But I leave feeling less troubled than I have. Yep, talking is helpful. Oh my. Look at the mountains. Very nice. I could get used to a... to a place like that. Back in the bedroom, huh? Um... <laughs> Broom closet! Is there anything in here? Uh, no. Now wait a minute, why did I bring her to my, like, awesome bedroom place? That is... That implies things that I didn't want it to imply. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to save so that this judgment can be had and hopefully approved of by most or some or the ones that I care about <sighs> Mayor Gregory Dedrick of Crestwood is present for betraying his own constituents he confesses that ten years ago he flooded old Crestwood to kill refugees and villagers touched by the blight the mayor claims it was to spare the rest of Crestwood but we only have his word. What he did can't be overlooked, no matter the motive. There's no cure for the blight. But I couldn't convince anyone to leave a sick child or husband behind. So you herded the infected into one place and flooded old Crestwood. Were no innocents caught in the waters? Nearly everyone in the village had the blight, I swear it. Have mercy. I couldn't tell the survivors I'd drowned their own families to save them. I, I, I couldn't. <sighs> so I remember promising an arrow in this guy's tea. So let's see what this War gives me. forces terrible choices on us, but justice demands its due. Gregory Dedrick, I sentence you to a swift death. The day has come at last. Maker, forgive my sins. Kind of sounds like that's what he wanted. Or at least he cannot have to live with the guilt anymore. So, it looks like I got more approval than disapproval on that one, which is nice. 